It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and there's no love lost between these NFC South foes. It's the Atlanta Falcons and the Carolina Panthers, and it's all up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Today we've got an NFC South matchup as it'll be the Atlanta Falcons taking on the Carolina Panthers. Joined by Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And CD, the Panthers come into 2023 with a lot of new faces, most notably, of course, at head coach and a quarterback. But what do you think it would take for them to emerge on top in the NFC South? Better efficiency on offense, partner. I think they continue to beef up the offensive line, add to the playmakers on the perimeter, and run the football with some authority. Pair that with the defense. It's been pretty good for the last few seasons. This team has a chance to take charge in a wide-open NFC South. And then for the visiting Falcons, a lot of people very eager to see the number eight pick in the draft, and that's B. John Robinson. And he's a guy I would have taken earlier in the draft. I go against the old adage, you don't take a running back in the first round. When you have one this skilled, this talented, who can run it and catch it and run your offense through him, you take him as the Falcons did. Here's the punter Bradley Pinion on to get us started. And off we go from Uptown Charlotte. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. So here the Panthers set to take over for the first time. And Charles will get a look at the much heralded rookie Bryce Young, the first overall pick from April's draft. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Offense looked a little bit discouraged after that play, shaking their heads a bit, looking at each other. I think they thought they'd get a lot more out of that call. Sometimes you do get the running lane you want. And other times, the defensive front, they just break up the play before it can get going. Second down, another chance for Hubbard. And he'll get a couple up to the 29. Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Short throw underneath to Hurst. Only two yards, and it'll be a punt on their opening possession. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. Carolina punt team out there led by Johnny Hecker. Pulled in at the 24. Oh, fighting off the defender. That'll go as a punt of 42, seven on the return. And it will be Falcon football. The Falcons ready to go to work here on offense. And at the helm in his second season, Charles, it's Desmond Ritter. And you know how scouts always talk about checking all the boxes? I think this young man does exactly that when you're looking for an NFL quarterback. Proven leader, teams went 43 and six while he was in college. Has speed, dual threat ability and the production off the charts while he was in school and also did a nice job of limiting turnover. When you put it all together, there's a lot to be excited about for this young quarterback. London, a six-yard pickup, brings up second and four at the 36-yard line. Here now, second and four. Looking to throw it here, Ritter. That's into the hands of Pitts, the tight end. And he's gonna be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. 
Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Xavier Woods, the free safety, up to make the tackle. It shows you right there, he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of position has really been significant, hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety designation. They just have safeties. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. On that play, how about that tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Give left side to Robinson. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Ritter. This pass is caught by London. Touchdown, Falcons! Desmond Ritter on target to Drake London. And the Falcons get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. And on the first drive, three and out. I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Second down, Young. Open here, Adam Thielen. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. So, Charles, yeah, take nothing away from this young man under center, because I know people think he's got a very bright future in this league, but I have to figure the defensive coordinators love the thought of squaring off against a rookie quarterback. And especially if they have guys they can put together a game plan with that's going to confuse, disguise a lot of coverage, make this kid think a little bit because in college he's seen a lot of things let's, let's not get it wrong here but at the same time in the nfl you can do so much more because of the athletes you have because of their football iq and don't forget you're gonna throw a couple extra rushers at him as well see if he can handle the pressure when those guys come at him second down another chance for hubbard and he'll be taken down at the 44 yard line four yards the pickup first down it's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. And they'll run on first down with Hubbard. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. 
On second down, here's a run with Hubbard. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. the gun it's young able to find the open man that's complete and he is out of bounds inside the 30 they get nine yards there and they get a first down Young to throw it. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll drop to throw. This is caught, and all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. A very solid gain of 27. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Hubbard. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. I thought they were on to something with their play call and kind of went in reverse a little bit, threw it on first down, then ran it on second down. Not successful either way. What play call do they come up with here on this important third down try? Young with it, third and goal. And he's going to go down, sacked back at the 13-yard line. Bud Dupree off the edge and getting to the quarterback. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. So Young will head to the sideline and on is Pinheiro for the Panther field goal. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. This is up and good for Pinheiro. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. They had it first and goal. Three attempts, couldn't get it in, so they settle for three. Yeah, the field tends to shrink a little bit the closer you get to the goal line, doesn't it? It doesn't sound right. It sounds a little counterintuitive. But you run out of space to run the deep routes, so they can just sit on the shorter stuff if you're going to throw it. If you want to run it, there's just not as much space. They end up having to take three there. After the field goal, on to kick it away is Pinheiro. And Patterson not going to return this. It'll come out to the 25. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. What a quick start to the drive, but not for the team that really needed it. In only a few seconds, the opposing QB found himself on the turf, and the defense is celebrating second and long. Second down throw coming for Ritter. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. 
That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. On play action, here's Ritter. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. And I think there defensively, they were so intent on stopping the run that they kind of got caught out of position. This is just a simple pitch and catch for a first down. Ritter looking to throw on first and ten. He'll get this into the hands of Van Jefferson. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 15 yards there for number 15. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. To the air again, it's Ritter. And this is incomplete. But prior to that, he had hit his first six passes to start the game, so on a nice little run to begin. It feels like this offense has carried its dress rehearsal into the game. You know, because you do practice it, you do go through it, and in this case, it is clicking exactly like they drew it up. Out of the gun, here's Ritter. He's got his pass catching tight end. That's Pitts. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Ritter now. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have a Falcons first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. They brought in a heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play. But we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. Off the play fake, it's Ritter. That's brought in downfield by London. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. The end result, 21 yards. Opening carry of the game for Cordero Patterson. He'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Second quarter now, Falcon football. It's second and seven from the nine. As they've got it as we resume action. Bootlegging out here, Ritter. That ball is caught. It's London for the Atlanta touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. As his guys are able to extend their lead. In the second quarter, and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game, and I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. Coup for the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was finished off by a touchdown catch from Drake London. Right. 
And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The possession of the football goes over to Carolina. They trail now 14 to 3, an 11 point deficit as they start things out with a first and 10. Young will set to throw. That is incomplete. Well, I guess we just discovered that someone is certainly not going to sit back and just take it in this game, huh? No, they were trying to get that touchdown back in one shot. One shot, trying to help out his defense and let the other team know they were coming after him. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll look to throw here. Over the middle, hold in by Sharp. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A gain there of 21 yards. This is Hubbard, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It was Bud Dupree fighting through and making the tackle. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Right back to Hubbard. And he's over midfield and into Falcon territory. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. The Panthers on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and four. Throwing. Young. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. As we both know, there was a lot that went into why they made him their first-round pick this year. Part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. That throw by Young incomplete. Second and ten. Young to throw it. The 20. Five. Touchdown, Panthers. Chuba Hubbard. 43 yards. And the Panthers have cut it back within a score. And that's another route that defenders will vote to take out of the game. The wheel route? Oh, without a doubt. You're just trying to move everybody in one direction. And whether it's a running back or another receiver, as they zip out on the sideline, you've got a problem on your hands. Yeah, well, the defenders hate it there. It happened, and it resulted in a touchdown. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that makes it a 14-10 ball game. Touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Cordero Patterson to return it, bringing it out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. We'll get a pause here. There appears to be a Panther who was shaken up on that last play. 
Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute, but did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it, and afterwards they'll say, there is never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. Second down and a run by Robinson. Shedding the tackle. Brings it up just shy of the 25. Showed some of that quickness there on the move. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. But this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and ten. Nice run on second and ten when probably everyone was expecting them to throw the football. Now if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. On first and 10, it's Robinson. Taking it right down Broadway. And he finally goes down, but not before reaching the 21. 63 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. And you hear it all the time, but that's one of the dangers of the blitz. You get past that first wave, nobody else is there. And when teams blitz, what they're trying to do is make you lose your poise, lose your timing and your tempo. But when you hold it together, you can really hurt them the other way, getting past that first wave. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Ritter now looking to throw it this time. And that's going to be incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. Ritter with another throw on second down. Got this complete to the tight end pits. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. He's up over 50 yards receiving now in this first half. It's a first down. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. Touchdown! Drake London on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Falcons are able to stretch out their lead. Well, just a sensational start for this offense, Charles. Three drives, three passing touchdowns. Is that like mentioning a perfect game in baseball, or are we cool to do it here in football, partner? No, I think you can do it here in football. I think perfect game in baseball, that, that's its own category. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Could not imagine a worse start for that secondary, or let's face it, a better one for this offense. No chance they stop passing now the way that it's going. I think they can continue to press the ball downfield and hopefully reap the same results. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. They'll look to make some inroads here, trailing 21 to 10 as they come up on a first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Hubbard. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. 
Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've kind of hit the jackpot there. To throw on second down is Young. That's the tight end Hurst with it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. A nice chunk play from the tight end position, and it illustrates the cohesiveness that he and his quarterback have. Both saw the extra defender doubling him up, and they still combined for the completion and big gain. A give running right, it's Hubbard. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. Looking to throw, Young. He'll get this to the rookie, Jonathan Mingo. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target meanwhile young's throw complete to his receiver Thielen, and he's able to break out of one tackle but then quickly brought down only able to gain a couple there at its second down Young now. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Looked like they had an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't have the concentration or the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. To the air once more, Young. That is caught. Touchdown. are back within a score. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets ahead of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And he's got it to make this a 21-17 game. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And Carolina scores to cap it off. Touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. No return here for Patterson, so they'll begin things at the 25-yard line. Time to get another look at Drake London and the Falcons' offense. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in this zone here and call it a day. Because otherwise, he can really decimate them. Better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Back to throw, Ritter. And his throw here is incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. 
Third and short, Ritter. And that is incomplete. That'd be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. On fourth down, Bradley Pinion on to punt for the Falcons. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it will be the Panthers' ball first and 10. The Carolina offense about ready to go. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Here is Young. That's a quick slant. He finds Adam Thielen. So the completion good for six yards. And it'll leave him with third and a full yard to go. Young. Work in the middle of the field. He's got a man to play. And he's going to have it. Panthers first down is able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Well, they've certainly gotten him involved in this first half, and on third down, they looked his way again. And what a delight for his quarterback to find him and keep the drive moving. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On the handoff, running left is Hubbard. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. 49 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he's got a first down following a pickup of about 13 as we will take a pause here for the two-minute warning. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. A first down throw for Young. 20! These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes. That's what we've seen <laughs> with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far, and fun to watch. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that gives him a three-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. We'll get another look at Drake London as this offense returns to the field. He's been good so far to this point in the second quarter. Need to get him even more involved, maybe? I would agree with that. Definitely. Uh, yeah, it's not even a question for me. The way he's playing, he's doing a nice job. Increase things. More touches, more opportunities. Maybe that can reverse things on the scoreboard for them. We'll try to ratchet things up then maybe here in the second quarter. So just three yards on the completion there, and it's second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. 
Flushed out right. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. Well, here's your first example of how this guy can beat you in more ways than one because they took away his arm. But he was more than happy to dissect them with his legs for that first down pickup. Now Ritter to throw on first down. And he'll complete this one to Patterson. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going... Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Ritter and the Falcons need an answer and a big play here on third and long following the sack. Robinson on a give right side. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. This is taken at the 15. 21 yards. Well done on the return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. The Panthers going to go back on offense here late in this first half. And with great starting field position and a couple of timeouts at their disposal, they'll certainly have the green light here. To throw, Young. The Panthers are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. Now Young. Throw left side on target to Thielen. Call it a gain of six on the play. Third and seven now. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. So third down and the Falcons going with a dime. Six defensive backs. Young to throw it. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. the gun it's young short throw underneath to Hurst and he is out of bounds inside the 35 and that's good for a pickup of 10 yards and that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left So Young will head to the sideline and on is Pinheiro for the Panther field goal. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And that will double their lead as it's up to six. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal. Not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. Hey. 
So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. One second, all that remains. And his throw is incomplete. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando. That's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports halftime report. What a treat to watch the rookie in that first half. The number one overall pick, Bryce Young. He lit up the skies with three first half touchdown passes as his guys were rolling in the early part of this football game. Okay, coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. shootout so far we'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half Cordero Patterson still going and they finally got to him at the two yard line almost coast to coast what a great return they'll be set up beautifully well that return had all the trappings of really good scouting you could tell that they thought they saw something on tape that they could take advantage of and they dialed it up at just the right time to give them a great return time to get another look at drake london and the falcons offense well, this defense they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while <laughs> three trips to the end zone how about that i think right now they would happily go to their general manager and say, is there any way you could get a trade for him? Bring him over to our team so he's not up for him anymore? Because he is really having a heck of a ball game, isn't he? Boy, he is. I don't know that a mid-game trade's going to happen, but good thought. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. Patterson. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football. And if you're going to throw it, something quick. Get... And that is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. Van Jefferson, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Falcons come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Now young Wei Koo for the extra point. And that one puts them on top here in the third. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it was all capped off by the Van Jefferson touchdown reception. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. 
And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. Here's second and seven now from the 28. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. Third and five. Now here's Young. And that is incomplete. Yeah, that's a nice job there defensively to blanket those receivers on third down. And as a quarterback, all you can do is just lop one toward the bench, not too close, mind you, and live to punt the football. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. We'll get another look at Drake London as this offense returns to the field. So far, he has the trio of touchdowns. Obviously, it's been a pretty good game for him. So if this were hockey, they'd be throwing their hats out on the ice for the hat trick, right? I'm not sure exactly what you do in the NFL except applaud and continue to hope you see a little bit more of this. What a tremendous game. You want to start a new tradition? What can we throw on the field? I don't know. We'll throw we'll your mic out there. <laughs> a lot of fans would like that. <laughs> Cut his mic off. Three touchdowns so far. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Back to Robinson now on first down. A good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the juke. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, partner, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. Second down throw coming for Ritter. And that is incomplete here. Matt Collins, the intended target, and it's third and five. Ritter. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 40. They give them 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 right at the 40. Robinson up the middle. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. And that's why you see a lot of teams that like to play 4-3 defense, especially against teams that run the ball really well. Because you count on your defensive front, the tackles and the ends, to eat up the blocking in the offensive line and keep that guy in the middle clean so he can roam to the football and make a tackle. In this case, he introduced himself and said, hello, my name is Mike. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Kyle Pitts, the intended receiver, third down here. Looking to throw it here, Ritter. He's got Patterson on the out route. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. And we'll see Young Way Koo now for the Falcons. From the right hash, this from 53. 
That's leaking to the right, and he missed it by a foot or two. It's no good, and this is going to remain a one-point game. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Now the offense for the Panthers here getting the football back. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Here's a run on first down that doesn't accomplish anything. In fact, he's going to be tackled behind the line for a loss of one. Now well, that play was doomed right from the start. They just about ran into every defender on that one, didn't he? It felt like everyone got a piece of that tackle. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. And they'll go again here with Hubbard. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Five men in the secondary now for the Falcons on third down. Young to throw it. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They're just going to run a drive out here with their tight end. Let him get upfield about 10 yards and then move toward the middle of the field. This ball's right on target and it results in a first down. Now a give, it's Hubbard going left. Down to the 41. From the 41, here's a second and eight. Here's Young from the shotgun. He's gonna drop this down to Sanders. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it brings up third and five now. Young. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for Carolina. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Second and nine now from the 21. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I don't care what anyone says. I want a big-time backing in this kind of yardage each and every time I step on the field. A tone setter, these guys are hard to find. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Ritter will set up to throw it. That's caught left side to tight end Pitts. And out across midfield, down to the 45. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one. And that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Here's Ritter. 
complete. Jefferson the target. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Somebody missed an assignment. He was waving his arms saying, uh, hey, I'm wide open. They found him. You think? You think? I mean, he was so wide open. Did you see he was just windmilling like he was Don Quixote or somebody out there? And then they found him for a really nice gain. Now they nabbed the rookie there for the five-yard penalty. So much going through his head. You know it just has to be, right? All of his assignments and realizing every game he plays, one of the better players in the league will be opposite him. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. The target there, Mac Hollins. And it's second down. Give. Here's Robinson. He'll get two yards back, but it's going to leave him with a long third and 13. The Ritter back to throw. is going to be incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. So on fourth down, Ritter heads to the sideline. Young Way Koo gets set for the Atlanta field goal. They'll put it down right at the 40, so call this a 50-yard attempt. Koo knocks this one through the post, and that'll move their lead up to four now. So give him three on that drive. You know, normally you'd say, we'll take it. But the way points have been flying around, it feels like a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, you just have to wonder, are field goals going to be enough? Because as you pointed out, the way touchdowns have been scored, does kicking a field goal actually put you at a disadvantage the rest of the way? Pinion now to kick this one away. And able to get this out to the 25. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. The last series form a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. On first down, they'll start out with Hubbard. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. 63 yards rushing for him now to this point. Now that's a run that warms a play caller's heart because you're actually set up to do whatever you want on offense. You can come right back and run essentially the same play because you have momentum. Or you can fake that running play and throw something deep over the top. Or you now feel like you have an extra down to play with because if you go ahead and just throw it and you don't get it, come back and try and pick it up on third down. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Looking to throw, Young. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. This is taken at the 23. It'll go as a 42, make it a 43-yard punt. Six on the return, and they will take over first and 10. Here comes the Falcon offense now as they get set to take over here. 
The last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Von Bell. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. And they'll take over here following the interception with good field position and a chance to take the lead with a touchdown. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Now Young, he throws it on the move but can't connect as that falls incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Throwing, Young. He'll find Thielen working the middle. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. They'll try and run for this with Hubbard. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. So it's pretty simple, partner. You pick up a turnover, set you up in excellent field position. The last thing you want to do is go three and out in this spot. Yeah, they would have had to settle for a field goal attempt, but now they keep those touchdown hopes alive. First down, they'll stay on the ground with Hubbard. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stopped that one behind the line of scrimmage. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. And we're back now in Charlotte. They'll see about converting this third and eight. It's the Panthers in possession of the football, but facing a deficit here as we get to the fourth and final quarter of play. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. A big one coming for kicker Eddie Pinheiro. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And that'll bring him back within a point. So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. After the field goal, on to kick it away is Pinheiro. Taken at the goal line. Cordero Patterson. Still going past the 30. 
And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, Falcons. A big time special teams play here in the fourth quarter to extend their lead. And coaches preach it all the time. If you can score on special teams, your chances of winning the game really jump up in a big way. Now, I'll let our analytics friends quantify it and give us the exact numbers, but that's what coaches talk about all the time, that extra momentum, that extra bounce you get from a special team score. I don't have any analytics friends. Those are your <laughs> friends. <laughs> I'll claim them. Ku able to connect on the extra point, and that will ensure that it will take a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie it. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And this taken in at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. The interception sets them up with an opportunity to erase this fourth quarter deficit. And this series could very well determine our outcome. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense, and that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment, no one in the wrong spot, everyone filling their gaps. From the 24 now, here's a second and eight. Straight ahead with Hubbard. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. On third down, here's a run by Hubbard. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Have to give credit for a nice play there, but also have to look at it as a blown assignment. He became a free runner that turned into a free hitter. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 44. And that will come the offense as they take over. Atlanta regains possession of the football. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And look at this, they get the turnover they needed, it's intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it, and he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter, turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. And they'll run on first down with Hubbard. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. But guess what? Those guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. Second down, another chance for Hubbard. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Hey, 
Young now. Going to the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he is going to have the Panthers first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Here is Young. have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. So part one of what they needed is done. They get in the end zone. Now you have to imagine we'll see a try for two. And that's what the book says, but defensively, they can't hang their head right here. They've still got a chance to come out with the lead if they make a play. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. They're going to try and run for it, but he is not going to make it. It's a big play by the defense, and they're going to hold on to their two-point lead. And the failure to convert and tie the game, now the pressure shifts back to the defense. But I think it was the right play. I think it was the right call to try and tie the game there. Kick an extra point, you're still down one. What's the sense? I, I like what they did. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Atlanta prepped and ready for its next possession. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, very close. One score game. Yeah, and if I'm a defender... I'm actually chirping to you on the other side of the ball, said, hey, we picked off the last one. What you going to do about it now? So when you do throw the football, high percentage, but throw with confidence. If there's any hesitancy at all, it could end up in enemy's hands again. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. On right, first and ten, it's Robinson. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. 104 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. On second down, Ritter. Middle of the field to Jefferson. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. A give left side to Robinson. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Big Derek Brown making the stop. That time, they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. There's a ball thrown right side and complete, and they'll wind up 
getting this one all the way down inside the 20. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. The offense just continues to reign supreme. Big plays, both sides, back and forth. Tough to keep track of. It certainly is, and I'm over here just marveling at what I'm seeing. It's tough for you, though. You've got to call all these big plays and have all this emotion each time they go at each other. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. A give to Robinson on the option. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, the offense has had a big day. He's been great running the football, but I don't think anybody liked that last result. No, they didn't like the last result at all, but they have to look at it in total, don't they? They've had a big day running the football. You take an occasional loss or an occasional bad play along the way, but all in all, they have to like what they've done. Third down, now even tougher. Third and 13 after that loss of a yard. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game against them, but tally that one on the side of the defense. Do you think maybe, possibly, it could be a little bit of a changer for them? Maybe not a game changer, but a little bit of a momentum one that maybe they can string together some pretty good plays and slow them down. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to at least make it a five-point cushion. Koo knocks this one through the post, and that will push the lead up to five. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, on a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Young. That's a quick slant. He finds Adam Thielen. He's now just three yards shy of 197 yards receiving on the contest. And a first down. Nothing flashy there. The slant to the slot. All the frustration for the defensive guys because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. First down, Young. A quick throw there is incomplete. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this one nearly intercepted. Boy, that would have been a great time for their first pick. But instead, it's third down. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Now Young. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. 
And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. Going for it with Sanders. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. Young to throw. They'll set up the screen here for Hubbard. And they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Second and six coming up. Young. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Here's Young. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. The Charles are trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. And they're working inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. He has been terrific today, hasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Run the flawless two-minute drill right here. This has been quarterbacking 101 with a flourish. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. Now Young. His throw incomplete. Under 50 seconds to play. Here's second and ten. Now Young. Throw out wide is incomplete. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or drape all over the passing lane? Yes, that's exactly what you do. It's both <laughs> because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. If you have a big-time pass rusher, send him after the quarterback and then make sure you blanket the field. throw there incomplete so this defense they looked a little shaky to start the drive but bottom line they're a play away from finishing it off they rocked them a little bit on this drive didn't they but as you and I both know it's not how you start it's how you finish okay, they have right? a chance to end it right here no choice but to go here's fourth down now here's young and it's incomplete they cannot convert and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. So a tough pill to swallow there. A would-be touchdown pass in and out of his hands on four. Sometimes it just comes down to execution, doesn't it? Because we're always questioning, should they go for it? Should they not? Is it the right play call? Is it not? In this situation, everything was right except for the finish. You have to catch the ball and convert. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. A big gain there, and that should certainly be enough to put this one in the win column. And that's the type of run that they're looking for because they'll need to continue to rely on him to move the sticks in this tight game in order to preserve this lead.
Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. The Panthers are going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. The Falcons in victory formation as they take a knee. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Down to an ego's winner, and that should be enough to finish this one off. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. Till next time, we say so long from Charlotte.